How would you describe the CTV environment for viewers and how is it different for marketers? What are the opportunities versus the traditional linear environment? Sure. So I think for viewers right now, CTV, it's, it's the golden age of television. Uh, I think that's being driven by a couple of things. Number one is the content. Um, and when I say content, I mean shows, sports, and movies that are available um, on streaming platforms. And I think not only the, all the great shows that are being produced currently, but also now the ability to have access to previous decades uh, content of shows and movies. Um, it's really an amazing opportunity for viewers to be able to access all of the great content that best fits their uh, viewing needs. And then the second thing I think that's driving that is the, just the viewing experience. I think in the CTV space, it's bifurcated really between uh, two experiences. Um, one, which is ad-free, um, but the other one, which is ad-supported. And from an ad-supported standpoint, um, especially from an on-demand environment, the ad loads are much lighter than people are used to um, with live linear television. And you know, an app that we launched recently, a service called Peacock, is leading the way in that space um, in terms of uh, the lightest ad load available in the marketplace with no more than 60 seconds per ad break, no more than five minutes per hour. So what is that experience like? What kind of medium is being, what kind of units and what's, how has that changed uh, the ad pod, but also the ad experience for consumers? Um, well, I think, you know, from a ad pod standpoint for viewers, um, it gets them more of their content that they're looking for, right? From a consumption standpoint. Um, in terms of marketers, it opens up a whole host of opportunities because you are on a digital platform. So number one, lighter ad load means less ad clutter and more ways to stand out with your messaging. Um, number two, um, because it sits on a digital platform, you have all the capabilities that data-informed advertising can, can uh, provide. So data targeting that allows your ads to be more relevant to the viewer on the other end. And then the third way is um, through the interactivity that digital allows for um, in terms of you know, uh, newer ad formats. And that's something that NBC Universal is actually re really leaning into is um, in our commercial innovations, things like NBCU Shoppable, things like NBCU Checkout. So a whole, you know, you add that all up, less ad clutter, uh, more relevant ads, more engaging ads, and that's going to really drive the brand impact um, and the conversion that brands are looking for. So, Mike, all this sounds fantastic, but what are some of the challenges as you see them right now? And what do you hope that you and your colleagues kind of power through this year? Yeah, well, in terms of challenges, I think, you know, I just mentioned all of this great choice in terms of uh, content. Um, but you're starting to see a lot of fragmentation in the CTV space. And, you know, I think that's starting to... Um, you know, cause challenges with viewers and, and where to, to get the great content that they're looking for. But from a marketer standpoint, it's kind of like, where do I start, right? Um, and, and how can they find uh, reach and, and meaningful reach? And I use that word meaningful on purpose because, you know, they still want to be able to be surrounded and associated with those premium brand safe environments and brand safe content. And I think, you know, that's not only in the, the scope of, you know, national advertisers, but also in the scope of, you know, local and regional advertisers um, that too are trying to find reach. And actually NBC Universal, um, we announced at the end of last year, the expansion of our NBC spot on to do exactly that, help local and regional businesses um, find audiences at scale, but in the markets that they're targeting. What about measurement and, and, uh, and, and outcome, uh, measuring both viewership and outcomes? Uh, where does that stand and what would you like to see there? I think, um, you know, measurement is a pretty encompassing term and it's one that always comes up in um, when, when people are talking about CTV, whether that's on panels, whether that's in our IAB breakout sessions. Um, I think measurement to your, to your first point is how can marketers be sure that the an exposure and impression on CTV is truly driving impact against their uh, against their advertising and to their business? Um, the second one that I think in terms of measurement is measurement of frequency, right? Frequency in the standpoint of you know ensuring that an exposure in live linear television is not duplicated when moving to CTV, and then also frequency in the sense that. You know, with this fragmentation, you have a lot of consumer touch points. 
And for marketers, you know, a lot of different ways they could enter into those um, consumer touch points. So we hear that more and more, how do I manage frequency across the entire ecosystem? So yes, even though it's a, a lighter ad load, it's not gonna be the same ad that they're seeing over and over again. And as I like to remind marketers, you know, NBC Universal, we too are a brand. So we too are a marketer. You know, the viewers are our customers. So we have to ensure that they're having as great of an experience. And so this is kind of a, you know, uh, something that we're both swimming in the same direction for to ensure that we have that environment. And then, you know, in terms of measurement, um, kind of uh, similar is transparency. You know, advertisers having a really good understanding of where their ads are running, which I really think is important. Again, because there's so many different ways a marketer could potentially enter in the ecosystem, um, that causes confusion on where they eventually run. I, I, I get the question so many times, um, if I buy this device, will I run on your programming? And, and, and that's a tough one for marketers. And I always just ask them to take a step back and, and I say, well, I'll tell you what, if you partner with NBC Universal directly, I guarantee you will not only run against the premium brand safe content of NBCU that you were just asking about, but you will run on those different services, platforms, or devices that you are acquiring about. Mike, and finally, um, tell us what you're doing at NBCU in terms of, uh, you know, finding people across these different screens and sort of, I know that's a big expectation of the brand marketers. You have NBC One. Uh, explain a little bit how that works and, and what you bring to the table. Yeah, so we launched NBCU uh, One Platform, NBCU Platform, uh, last year out at CES. And um, again, as we are to a brand and marketer, we saw the migration of our audiences across different screens and across different devices. It's, it's funny, I think back to last April, and as we're discussing the 2021 broadcast calendar year, we're always sharing these consumption charts with marketers. You know, why, our, why percentage of our cons consumption comes from linear television, X percentage of our consumption comes from digital. And, and that was in April. But I mean, you know, fast forward to September and the acceleration and explosion of our viewership from a streaming standpoint, I mean, that kind of consumption chart is completely out the window. And so with NBCU, you know, one platform, we're able to actually build plans and create optimizations so that marketers are truly following those audiences. So they're maximizing their reach against whether it's a, an age and gender or whether it's a more customized audience that they're going after. And that's something that we've been investing in from a technology standpoint, um, from a measurement standpoint, and from a partnership standpoint. 